Hey guys, today we're going to be doing the last video of Ryan's W channel for 2017. We're going to be doing the top 15 Funko items of 2017. Number 15, we have Dr. Emmett Brown. This one I got at FYE. Mine had probably about 15 of them. It's the Loot Crate exclusive, so if you guys want this, go check your FYE. If not, you can probably get it online for a decent price. Um, if you guys need information about any of these Funko Pops in this video, leave it down below and I'll get you a link to it. But number 15 is Dr. Emmett Brown. And the reason I like this Funko Pop so much, I don't know, I just something about it is really cool. And I do want the Marty McFly one as well, um, along with the regular one. Because this is number 236, this is number 1549. So I'm definitely a little bit behind, so I gotta get caught up, but... Yeah, so I'd say Dr. Emmett Brown was a cool find. At number 14, we have Zoom from The Flash. This one I thought it just looked really awesome. I think overall it was a really cool pickup for me at least. Um, I'm really looking forward to picking up the other ones in the series. But that's probably going to be quite hard. Um, I know where I can get three of them at. So I gotta, I'll gotta, i head and get those very soon. Uh, obviously, I will be picking those up in 2018 because this is the last video and the last um, day of 2017. At number 13, guys, we have the FY exclusive Leonardo. Um, he's pretty much black and blue. Well, not black and blue. He's pretty much gray and blue. Um, so you can really get this only at FYE. Um, so I got this probably about, I don't know maybe a few weeks like three or so weeks ago and it was on sale at $7.99 number 12 is Kevin from Home Alone I'm hoping that they make some more um iconic Home Alone ones um maybe some exclusives or just in general some more Christmas Funko Pops next year I think they really outdid themselves this year with the Home Alone the Elf ones um those were all really really cool so this has been number 12, Kelvin McAllister. Let's move on to the number one. Now, number 11, we have The Walking Dead Mystery Mini. I got Shane, Glenn, Sophia there, and then back here. Joe, Merle, Deanna, Nicholas, and then another Deanna and Sophia. At number 10, guys, we have Bernadette Rostenkowski Wallowitz from The Big Bang Theory. Um, I have quite a few more of these, which you guys will definitely see later in the video. Um, so these are all really cool ones, and I'm hoping this year, in 2018, I am able to get the whole set of Big Bang Theory Funko Pops. Not a huge chance of that, because some of them are pretty high up in price, because they all are retired, but let's move on to the next one. At number 9, guys, we have Raj Kuthur Polly as well from the Big Bang Theory. Again, I hope I can collect all the Big Bang Theory ones this year. Again, they are pretty high in price. Number eight is Howard, another Big Bang Theory one. And we have one more Big Bang Theory after this guy. And number seven, we have Max in costume, Hot Topic exclusive. This one's really cool. Um, she has her little pumpkin bucket, and she also has her little knife. So I think this one had a lot of good detail on it. Leonard from the Big Bang Theory, of course, in his Star Trek uniform. All the guys I just showed you were all in the Star Trek uniform, and they all have an average of $30 to $50 on Pop Price Guide. Number 5 is Harry Potter on Broom, SDCC exclusive. This one is so cool. The stand is clear, so it looks like he's actually flying. I'm definitely going to be collecting more Harry Potter ones in 2018, along with the new line if they ever come out with some. And I'm definitely going to be getting the Ron Weasley and Ginny Weasley on Broom to go along with this one for my collection. And they'll definitely be in probably my top 15. Maybe I might even do 20 next year depending on how many I get. Because I started getting into Funko Pop collecting this year in about the end of October. And I've already gained so many. So next, who knows what's going to happen next year. Number 4 is another SDCC exclusive. Mr. Clark from Stranger Things. This one is really cool. I feel like for um, SDCC Funko really outdid themselves. Not only do they have this one but they also have Steve. And that Harry Potter one was awesome. So next year, now that I know that Funko actually releases most of their SDCC and NYCC Funko Pops in stores, then I'll definitely be going and doing a Funko Pump Pop hunting video along with hunting for Funko Pops for the San Diego Comic Cons 
and just Comic Cons in general. So I'm going to be doing that next year as well. So expect that in 2018. So we have hit the top three guys, and this is my number three Ranger Smith from Yogi Bear. Funko Shop exclusive, limited to 5,000 pieces, only made 5,000 of these. So these are really cool, and I'm hoping to get Yogi Bear and Boo Boo in 2018. But anyways, let's move on to number two out of the top three. And number two is Dustin and Dart Hot Topic exclusive. I actually got this one today, and I was very pleased with it. I thought it was a really good addition to the collection. So Dart and Dustin are my number two. Um... But I think this one was very, very awesome, and it's a really cool addition to my collection. I don't know if it's just like, you know, like the vibe of when you get a new Funko Pop and you can't stop looking at it, or if it actually does please me this much. Um, but yeah, guys, Dustin and Dart was number two. So my number one is Dwight. I know a lot of people are going to be like, why is Dwight? I don't know. Every time I've looked at this, every time I look at this, I've had this for probably three to five months. I cannot exactly remember. I can't remember if I got it after school started or before. It had to be, yeah, it had to be after, because New York Comic Con is right before Walking Dead starts, so yeah, it had to be after. So, I had this for probably about three months, and it is a New York Comic Con exclusive. Um, something about it, I still look at it three months later, and I still can't, I don't know why, but I just love this Funko Pop so much. It's just so cool, guys. But, um, so this has been Ryan's CWD Channel Top 15 Funko Pops of 2017 in added to my collection so i hope you guys liked it we had a ton of really cool pops um this one just just i decided to be number one because every day when i wake up and i look over at my fungal pop collection and i see dwight it just makes me feel good to have it in my collection. I just don't know why. It's I think it's such a cool Funko Pop. And if you guys did, um, ha know your top 5 or top 10 or top 15, leave those down in the comment section. And just tell me some stuff you guys want to see in 2018. But anyways, this is the last video of Ryan's CWD channel for 2017. If you guys have any video suggestions, anything to say, leave that down in the bottom section. Anyways, thank you guys for a great year, and I'll see you guys next year.